Following his defamation trial victory, Johnny Depp appears to be on track to make his Hollywood comeback, whether people want it or not. According to new reports, one publicist quietly working behind the scenes is a former White House aide to President Donald Trump. Donald Trump is indirectly helping his career. So who is this publicist? How is Depp's career faring after the trial? Keep watching to find out. Depp's team has been largely managed by a publicist named Carolina Hurley, a former Republican National Committee staffer and special assistant to Trump. Hurley was clearly hired on the recommendation of his former employees Hope Hicks and Josh Raffel, who both worked for the Trump White House. Furthermore, during the majority of her time at the White House, Hurley reported to Ivanka Trump, whom she also represented at Hiltzik Strategies before Trump was elected president. Hurley has attempted to downplay her connection to the former president since joining Depp's team, with no mention of her previous employment history on social media and networking platforms such as LinkedIn and Twitter. Hurley, for example, signs off emails to reporters covering the lawsuit with Carolina plus JD team, or simply Carolina H. It doesn't take long, however, to find evidence of Hurley's more troubling political rhetoric, such as a 2016 piece in The Hill, in which she identified as a Republican on a mission to combat liberal basis. Given that right wing has invested heavily in the Depp Heard trial and is determined to portray Amber Heard as a villain, it's not difficult to see the writing on the wall here. Matthew Hiltzik of Hiltzik Strategies also represents Depp, the son of a prominent Hollywood entertainment attorney who began his career working in public relations for Harvey Weinstein at Miramax. Prior to that, he worked on Hillary Clinton's 2000 Senate campaign and has also represented liberal politicians such as Chuck Schumer and Elliot Spitzer, although his alliance to liberals appears to be limited to the dollar. According to a recent Guardian article, Hiltzik has a long history of representing celebrities involved in shady situations. He founded Freud Communications United States before launching Hiltzik Strategies in 2008, where celebrity in crisis clients have included Alec Baldwin, thrown off of an American Airlines flight, Olympic swimmer Ryan Lochte falsely reported being robbed at gunpoint in Rio de Janeiro, Brad Pitt after his divorce from Angelina Jolie, and the crying conservative TV host Glenn Beck. Johnny's trial victory appears to have helped lift his career out of the muck. He is set to star in the upcoming movie Jeanne du Berry. The film will be based on the life of Jeanne Bécu, who was born as the illegitimate daughter of the impoverished seamstress in 1743 and rose to the court of Louis XV to become his last official mistress, according to its IMDb page. In the French language film, Johnny Depp will play King Louis XV alongside Maouen, Louis Garel, Pierre Richard, and Noémie Levovsky. The film is currently in pre-production, Johnny Depp's first film since the 2020 drama Minamata, which he also produced, will be Jean Duberry. Maouen, a well-known French actress and filmmaker, will direct the period drama film, in which she will play King Louis XV's mistress, Jeanne Bécu. Throughout the defamation trial between Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard, Depp and his legal team claimed that Heard's claims had harmed the actor's career. One of the jobs allegedly lost by the actor as a result of the allegations is the role of Cap Captain Jack Sparrow in the Six Pirates of the Caribbean film. However, given that Johnny Depp won the Depp vs. Her trial, it appears that things may be changing for the actor. Pirates of the Caribbean producer Jerry Bruckheimer told the Sunny Times the door isn't completely closed for Depp to make a return. The future is yet to be decided, the filmmaker said. Given that Johnny Depp's public image has shifted significantly as a result of the trial, no one would be surprised if the actor reprised his role as Captain Jack Sparrow at some point. Johnny Depp is also filming the miniseries Puffin's Impossible. Aside from his work on the big screen, the actor is also part of the voice cast for the upcoming animated television show Puffin's Impossible, a spin-off of the show Puffins. Johnny Depp is the voice of Johnny Puff in the film. The show follows five puffins who work for the Walrus Auto and has an IMDb rating of 8.8. Puffins Impossible will have 18 five-minute episodes, but no release date has been set. The work that's been done in just one year is simply amazing. I'm delighted with the creativity of people from Serbia, Johnny Depp said in a statement. Experts predict that Johnny Depp's career is about to take a turn for the better. The actor, who has appeared in a number of well-known blockbusters, may become even more well-known. Alexandra Villa of in-house PR believes Depp will have plenty of projects to choose from. His career is about to take off. 
He not only has the consumer's heart in his hands, but, she stated, he may be able to pick and choose some of the most anticipated films in the coming years. He has the potential to become the world's highest paid actor. What do you think of Depp's Hollywood career in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.